dead. I will fix it. Maybe I won't. It took us a long time to get here. After eight years of unsuccessful digging into tire manufacturing, around the world no less, we finally called Uni Royal Goodrich in Kitchener, Ontario. Sure, come on over, they said. Next time, we'll call them first. Tires are made from a blend of natural and synthetic rubbers. Not only are various ingredients combined to make individual types of rubber compounds, but several different types of rubber compound are used in concert to construct each tire. There's tread rubber, sidewall rubber, and so on. Each rubber compound is engineered at the molecular level to do a specific job. The raw ingredients are mixed in batches in a huge mixer called a Banbury mixer. From the Banbury, the different rubbers go to different locations throughout the plant. At this stage, all of the rubbers are very soft and sticky. There's an overpowering urge to grab some and chew on it. This is a cracker mill. The cracker mills squeeze air out of the rubber and allow the rubber to go around and around until it's completely uniform and needed for a process. As well, trimmed off bits of rubber are blended back into the mill. The sidewalls of the tires are being made here. The rubber is being warmed and squeezed through a die to create the shapes. This particular sidewall package is one that will eventually have white letters pressed in it. At the moment, the white strip is completely encapsulated in black rubber. The side walls are designed to be very flexible. These strips of rubber will become treads. Since different tires have slightly different recipes and dimensions, the pieces are all identified as to type. The treads are cut to an exact length. Then they have a carefully measured quantity of glue applied to the cut ends. These spools of wire are being grouped into a bundle, formed into a hoop, and coated with yet another rubber compound. The bead is the part of the tire that will be forced into the tire rim and form the tubeless tire seal. It needs to be very tough. The rubber coated bead is given a cloth coating at this stage to further add to its strength. These large sheets of rubber are steel belt, single strands of steel wire coated with rubber. They're being cut and rejoined in a fashion that will make them end up like this in the final tire. A combination of steel wire belts under the tread and flexible polyester radial body plies class these tires as polysteel radial tires. The folks I'm going to take 
By now, you may have decided not to try to make your own tires at home. This step should confirm your decision. This isn't the kind of job you get on your first day at the factory. Even though there are a lot of mechanical aids, tire building is quite an art. The first step is to install the beads. Then the various strips and sheets of rubber are all presented to the tire technician by a large robot. Focused electric eyes above shine alignment marks on the building drum as the tire is being built. This barrel is almost a finished tire. This operation rolls the barrel into something that looks more like a tire. The resulting donut is inflated and has its tread applied. Oh, doesn't look like a tread? It will. At this point, the tires have all of their rubber components and the beads in the correct locations, but the rubber is still soft and pliable, and it doesn't quite look like a tire. That's taken care of here. The secret to making the tire durable is the vulcanization process. The tires are vulcanized by heating both the outside and inside of the raw rubber tire at the same time. This creates new molecular links in the structure that make the rubber tough while retaining much of its elasticity. As well as performing the vulcanizing step, these molds contain the tread pattern for the tire and the lettering that will appear on the sides. It's called sidewall literature in the tire biz. Now it's a tire. The tires that come out of the mold could theoretically be installed directly on your car, but there are a couple of formalities. Here, the sidewall that has the white strip of embedded rubber is being ground down to reveal white lettering that was formed in the mold. Every tire is tested for roundness, smoothness, balance, and overall good looks. This is one of two Uniroyal Goodrich plants in Kitchener. This plant churns out about three million tires a year, all hand built. These days, their entire operation is devoted to the production of radial ply tires. 
Given the fact that no other manufacturer would let the Acme Cam into their plants, we'd like to vote that these are the best tires we've ever seen manufactured. <laughs>